Good evening friends. I hope you are all doing well. I'm also fine. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Final Cloud in AWS. So if you have seen my last video last week where I have shown you how you can use uh, Nextcloud for setting up your own <clears throat> file storage system. So uh, that is kind of a similar video, but with File Cloud. So File Cloud, it's a, um, another uh, solution to host your files in the cloud with your own uh, data, like on your server, own uh, infrastructure, right? So you manage the infrastructure, File Cloud will give you the softwares and all those tools that is required to create a online cloud-based solutions. The difference is that the uh, Nextcloud and File Cloud is File Cloud has, uh, they give you free trial, but also they kind of like, um, they'd say uh, free for five users, but if you need more users, then you should go to for File Cloud business packages. So it has, it is most likely uh, not exactly same as uh, Nextcloud, which is completely open source and they don't charge anything for number of users, but here, you have a limitation, but you will see why the limitation is there because it's very like user friendly and it has it is dedicatedly kind of a, like your own drive system, Google Drive. So rather than Google Drive, it will be like your drive. Okay, let's do it. So I'm in my issue to dashboard and I'm going to launch a new instance. So let's go here. And then I'm going to uh, give it a name. File cloud. Then here, uh, search for file cloud. Let's see if we have anything in our marketplace. So mostly we are going to find that in the marketplace. Yeah, here it is. Here, the number one file cloud. So we see six AWS reviews. That is the one. I'm going to select this. And then I'm going to continue this. Okay, so that is, uh, let's choose T3 medium. Okay. Then let's create a key pair. This is file cloud. Okay, create a security group. Yeah, that's good. Eight. Probably you want to start with 40 because this is a file storage. So that's good. And then uh, other things you can keep as it is. Let's go launch it. When you are launching for the first time, it might take some time <clears throat> because it is subscribing the AMI and also launching all those things. So have patience and then uh, grab a cup of coffee or tea and then come back in, uh, let's say five minutes. Okay, I'm going to pause the video for five minutes and then when it's ready, I will come back. Okay, so I am back. Um, I think my instance is started to launch. Let's go to the details. Refresh this screen. Okay. Meanwhile, I uh, sign up here for File Cloud. It's very simple. You just click for the free trial and then give your email address. They will send out the code and you verify the code. So once you sign up for the free trial, you will get a portal access. So portal.getfilecloud.com where you, you get the license, right? This is, uh, you need a license to install it, install the software on your servers, on your own infrastructure. That's it. This license is uh, valid for 30 days and you can use up to 20 users. But after that, you have to kind of like, uh, you can use it still for free, but it's limited. Okay, so let's go here. I'm going to add a Elastic IP because um, I want to link a domain. Make sure you have an Elastic IP 
so to link your domain or subdomain with the file cloud. So let's associate Elastic IP. I'm going to choose the instance, associate. That's associated now. Let's go to the instances. Click here. Now you have an Elastic IP, right? That's good. Okay. So um, if we go to the security tab, then um, we have 44380. So there's all open. Now grab the uh, public IPv4 DNS and then open that here. This will give you the basic interface, right? Okay, this is for the login part. I'm going to uh, go for the admin. Sorry, I just need to go for the admin. Yeah, here it is, admin. Hmm. Just a moment. Where is the setup screen? Okay, I just uh, need to. Oh, this is the default credentials admin password. Okay, good. So the URL is basic URL and then admin. admin and password let's see if i can log in here okay i think i need to copy the instance id as a password okay g good so <clears throat> this is just to remember that <clears throat> sorry when you first time installing uh, this system so you copy the IP address like public DNS or IP address and then um, copy here paste it and then slash admin right okay that is the URL to set up the administrator and there is a default user is created and for the AWS the username is admin but the password is your instance ID this is the password you just copy the password here and give the password then you can be log able to log in here you can see i can log in then you need to give a license so here you can get the license download your license here so i downloaded my license and i'm going to upload that license here choose file This is my license. I'm going to upload that. Apply. Okay, my license is applied. So let's uh, close these all warnings. This is this is it. This is my uh, file cloud administrative palette. 
now I wanted to link my domain. So I grab the public IP elastic and then go to my DNS manager. This is my DNS manager where I manage my domains DNS, right? So I'm going to add a new record here. So I'm going to give the name is like drive and then give IP address. Let's verify this. The record has been added. I saw a comment from my YouTube other videos where people asked why you are using Cloudflare or what is the purpose of Cloudflare? Guys, Cloudflare is a uh, kind of a, like I manage my DNS records in Cloudflare. If you are using GoDaddy or Namecheap, that's fine. You can just go there and change your DNS. There is no dependency of using Cloudflare here, right? So use your own preferred uh, DNS provider where you want to host your DNS and edit the records. That's it. There is no mandatory thing that you have to use Cloudflare for that. Anyway, I uh, added this uh, A record and now if I go to uh, this URL drive.atikur.xyz then I will see uh, the login screen. So this is the login screen for the normal user. This is not for administrator, this is a normal user. If you go admin, then you will get the administrative login. And again, the password is simple, admin username and password is your instance ID. Copy this ID, this is your password. Remember, this is only for AWS. If you are using a different provider like DigitalOcean or Linode, then this might be not your case. So you might use the default uh, admin and password is, uh, username is admin and password is password. Okay, so I'm going to create some other videos for digital lotion, or Linux, et cetera, all those things. So I'm going to uh, close this because I have my own uh, available widgets, governance. Okay, let's add it. So we have uh, 4 GB used and 34 GB available. That's good. Now we can create some users, right? I, I create some users or add users here. This is some intro video, add users, default authentication. I think full license, I give it my name. Uh, drive user, display name, drive user. I give a password like I just use some password manager. That's better. Please use password managers. So, uh, sorry, password generator. Let's go password generator, generate me password that I'm going to use. Use password generator, copy password. And give it the password, email address, uh, something at the rate of article.xyz. Send email notifications? No. Great. Password must be minimum 14 characters. Mm. That's weird. Okay. So let's go here and make it 14. Ah, it's 15. Good. Copy. And then paste it here. So what we use, drive user, password is, that's the password generator, create. Okay, the user has been created. I don't want to save it. Let's go to a different browser. So the browser is, and the site is drive.com. 
atiku.xyz. So it's like atiku drive. We have used Google Drive. Now you see Atiku Drive. It's funny, funny joke. Okay, so the username is like drive user and then password I just have in my clipboard. I don't want to save it because this is temporary. I don't want to log in again. <clears throat> okay, this is the user. And go to my files. The folder is empty. Drag some files to upload. Let's go to my local browser, local file storage, go to the documents, and maybe go to the pictures, and then I'm going to copy this picture, upload it. Oh, what happened? I copy here and paste it. Yes, file has been uploaded. Now click here, you can view it, then you can give permissions as well. So here are the permissions. So you can share it with other team members, right? You can, uh, like this is the share. Click the share button, sorry. Click the share button, then this is the share URL. Oh, this is showing localhost, but you should change it because this is our new URL, right? So copy this and I go to uh, settings check URL server URL is valid okay save it right so you set the server URL here in the settings now if I refresh this so if you don't give your server URL, it will give you like 127 this local path but that is not the correct path right so yeah now you see this is the uh actual url now if you copy the url and then open that in a, another user you probably would not be able to see it if it's not a public access yeah you have to log in it right so that's that's really interesting thing so now you have created your own oh i can see it because okay is it publicly shareable okay yo this share is publicly managed shares i don't want to share it publicly right uh anyone with this link allow download no so i wanted to disable public sharing how can i do that send email yes maximum expires share emails okay i don't want to share publicly i want to share with only people that i know yeah here it is so i don't want to share it publicly where where i can change that Yes, allow selected users or groups, and I can invite new users. So, if it is just like uh, admin at equal.xyz, right? So, I can share this with email addresses at users, and then only he can view it. Now, if I save it. Then it shares. Okay. Now, if I copy this, I copy, go to a different browser, and then uh, it will probably give me some warning that I don't have access to share this file, right? Yeah, there is this. I need to log in to ship you this file. So this is exactly what I wanted. It's like my own Google Drive, but hosted on my own server. So I have the full control of the files, what is uploaded, which is shared. And uh, even I can store it, everything inside uh, like my office 
if my company important documents um secret personal pictures photos everything i can now store in this into this drive system how much does it cost so it depends on the number of uh, storage you use so mostly uh, if i go to uh, 83 sorry cost calculator so t3 medium cost per month so it's roughly around 40 dollars per month that's for the t3 medium the server cost and then you need to pay uh here it is 39 so it will be 40 right and then um ebs storage cost for let's say 50 gig or let's say 100 gig and uh, Mm -hmm. Is there any quick quick way to find it? UPS volume charges, where it is pricing. I just wanted to have a calculator, EBS pricing calculator. Yeah, there it is. So you can just calculate the cost. So it's $39 or $40 for the EC2 instance and the hard disk cost that is the like SSD storage. So let's take it here. Let's do YO search for EBS. Elastic block storage and then configure. Number of volumes one, uh, fine. Storage is like 100. I don't want to have a, a one monthly backup. Amount as per three snapshots. Pom, pom, pom. I make it one. Okay. Let's see. Show calculations. Save and add service. I'm going to. View summary. So around fifteen dollar per month, but that's for hundred GB use. So uh, that being said, it's costly. It costs around uh, forty plus fifteen equals fifty five dollars. So uh, fifty five dollars per month for hundred GB. If you need one terabyte, that is also possible. The beauty is that you you are the owner of your own uh, storage drive there is no one is viewing your documents if you have really sensitive data that is more valuable more than 45 dollars that you think then i would suggest to use your own storage on the cloud file cloud is very uh like kind of like user friendly so it does only one thing that file storage right if we see the next cloud or uh, next cloud they're they're kind of a, like uh, like uh, doing 100 things, right? They're good, but they have like files, docs, and then you have uh, meetings. So I, I, I don't think that's really uh, that much focused on, but file cloud is really focused. They only do one thing, that file sharing, and they have very user-friendly interface, and it's kind of like similar like Google Drive. I must say. So basically, if you are used to Google Drive, then you should like it file cloud as well. Um, that being said, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel. That will help me to create more videos like this. And I'm going to find more uh, tutorials like this so that it gives you more freedom. Anyway, um, uh, for for whom the file cloud is suitable? It's suitable for the uh, business organizations who has like important files that they are now storage in the storing in the Google Drive, but uh, they can store it in their own cloud. And uh, for personally, if you are very 
uh, like uh, important person and if you think your file needs to be stored your, on your own infrastructure, then you can install Flight Cloud as well. That being said, that's it for today. I'm going to now um, delete everything and uh, close, terminate all the instances that is related to the file cloud and uh, close this for today. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Allah peace. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye.